Welcome to Sparkles, Quarterly of Photographic Culture. A form looks for a life, and a life needs to have a form. Thus, each form comprises and embodies a life. With this teaching in mind by art historian Henri Fossillon, I imagined formless form, which analyzes the passage from formal to informal Italian photography, trying to understand when exactly it happened and how it was accomplished. It is a transition that involved photographers of different generations and of diverse cultural upbringings, engaged in a common effort to give shape to the changed conditions in the years of Italian Reconstruction. Post-war Italy looked like what the artist Corrado Cagli defined as a building site for visual arts. Neorealist cinema was winning Oscars. Artists and art critics such as Lionello Venturi came back from exile, and international art events such as the Venice Biennale of 1948 and European art exhibitions at Capesaro in Venice opened. There was a flourishing of publication activities and new avant-garde groups such as Form One and the New Front of the Arts were established. And in 1947, the La Bussola Group Manifesto was published, giving birth to what can be considered a new consciousness of the art of photography in Italy. Formless form offers a sort of journey to the end of form of Italian photography, starting with the tonal luminism of Giuseppe Cavalli, a critic and promoter of major art photography events, and examines the shift from his high-key abstraction to a shapeless biomorphism, and moves on to investigating the intrusion of the unformed in the photographs by Luigi Veronese, in which a dissolution of all figurative patterns in favor of a search of an amorphous chromatism can be discerned. An evaporation of fixed shapes can be spotted in the work by Franco Grignani, artist, graphic and photographer, which can already be seen in his 1920s photograms, such less, some less known shown in the exhibition, works that he dismissed to devote himself completely to Gestalt, finding his own personal research based on visual perception accomplished through the use of the photographic medium. The serene evolution of forms and prospective lines that connotes the pictures by photographer and etcher Pier Giorgio Branzi yields at times to an early elaboration of informel in his images that duplicate unforeseen crevices and meticulous description of decay and suffering of matter. A dissolution of forms informs the uncomposed pictures by Paolo Monti, which betray his fascination with a search into the unform. It is a disclosure of the secret structure of liquid transparencies, displaying tormented forms of nature, and at the same time, a resilience of the form at the very heart of the chaotic disruption of matter. A transition from informal to the unform appears more distinct in those that the poet Leonardo Sinisgalli called forms freed and abandoned to their convulsions and their tangles. That is in the pictures by Pasquale de Antonis, who experimented with an off-camera unform based on purely chromatic projections. The father of informal photography is Nino Migliori, who in 1948 was already applying developer and fixing acids on sensitized paper, which he then exposed to sunlight or to a flame, burning, scratching it, and thus inventing new ways, new formulae to make a picture, in so far that forms find their way and produce themselves through this very process of making, through this new rethinking and re-imaging of photography. It seems to me that informal is the most humane way to photograph. It is the very form of being human, for it is the visible trace of her, his passage through the world. Formless form, the non-objective phase in Italian photography, 1935-1958, 
50 mostly vintage and little known works by seven photographers and 23 photo books and catalogues at the Wunderkammer of the Galleria Civica d'Arte Moderna e Contemporanea, Turin, from June 24th. The catalogue includes 62 plates, an annotated chronology, an essay and biographical notes edited by Antonella Russo, and it is published by Gam and Silvana Editoriale.